In this video, I'm going to explain about a firm which is in a perfectly competitive market structure and they're making a super normal profit. And I'm going to show you what happens in diagrams. Remember, when we're looking at perfect competition, we need to have two diagrams. On the right hand side, this is the whole market. So if we're imagining that these are rice farmers, this is all rice farmers, the whole market for the rice. And then this is one firm, so this is one rice farmer. And we need to start off by finding out what the price is in the market. And in this one, just to find out the price, we've got price and quantity, just a normal demand and supply diagram. And this is down for demand. And this is supply in the sky. And to find out our price, we just get the equilibrium here. And we know that this is our quantity. So this is all the suppliers and all the consumers demanding the product in the market. And this is the equilibrium price. And we know that for the firm, their average revenue and demand curve is where the price is because they are price takers. So follow this price across here. And this is average revenue, and we know that that's demand. And we know that because every single unit is sold at this price, it's also equal to the marginal revenue. And then we need our marginal cost curve. And we know that this firm is going to be producing where marginal cost equals marginal revenue, because they're profit maximizing. Remember on this diagram, the labelling, we're looking at price and cost and revenue. So this needs to be price, cost, revenue, and this needs to be output. Now we want to show a supernormal profit. And if we have a supernormal profit, we know that the price is going to be greater than the long run average costs. So let's engineer this diagram so that we're making a supernormal profit. So if I put my long run average cost curve down here, we will be making a supernormal profit because, and also remember that the lowest point of the long run average cost curve needs to cut through the marginal cost curve. I've just done that there. So we want to profit maximize and we know that we profit maximize where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. So marginal cost equals marginal cost equals marginal revenue, this curve, here. And therefore, to find out your quantity, you come down to the x-axis. That's our quantity. And to find out what your costs are, you need to see at this quantity, what are your costs? You see when you bump into the long run average cost curve, which is here, and then you go across to see on the axis, what will your costs be? So essentially, this is your price, these are your costs. And that therefore means that in this situation, our super normal profit is equal to P, let's call this corner A, A, Let's call this corner B, B, C. So P, A, B, C. That's your supernormal profit. Now, if you are in this perfectly competitive market and you're making a supernormal profit, what's going to happen is that people who aren't already in the market are going to see that supernormal profit and they're going to think that they'd like to make some supernormal profit too. So people will start coming into the market. And if they come into the market, that's going to have an impact for you. Remember, the reason that they can come into the market is because there are low or no barriers to entry and low or no sunk costs. So it's easy for them to do that. So more people come into the market. When more people come into the market, that's going to cause supply to go up. So new entrants will be attracted by the supernormal profits. So as a result of this, the supply will go up. 
we know that when supply goes up, price will go down. And we need to engineer the diagram so that it looks right. We know that in the long run, in perfect competition, we make normal profits. So that's important to remember. In the long run, we're making normal profits. So we need to end up in that situation of making normal profits. So what you need to do is you need to find this lowest point here where your marginal cost is intersecting your long run average cost, this point here. And that is where we need to end up with our new demand curve, average revenue curve, marginal revenue curve here. So this is going to be AR equals D equals MR1. And then we need to have got this price from somewhere. This is our new price, P1. And we got that from over here. So we need to find the place where we'll have a new equilibrium, which is here. And then from there, you draw your supply curve, the parallel shift, S1. And now we've done this slightly backwards, but now we can see that when new entrants come in, supply goes up, price goes down, it falls from P to P1. P1, Q1. And when it falls to P1, this means that the average revenue curve, the price that they must take, falls down to here. And now marginal cost equals marginal revenue here. And at that point, it's also intersecting long run average cost and therefore they're making a normal profit. So this is showing how in perfect competition firms can go from making a super normal profit in the short run to making a normal profit in the long run.